So today we're chatting about Tree of Heaven, an invasive tree that you may have heard of because it's kind of been making headlines recently. It was brought to the U.S. from China in the 1700s and used in cultivation, but it very quickly escaped and spread across almost the entire U.S. Typically, you can find it along our transportation corridors, so highways or railways, but it really is everywhere and might even be in your very own backyard. One of the reasons Tree of Heaven is such a problematic invasive is because it has some really aggressive tendencies. For one, it is a prolific seeder, and you can actually see these seeds are starting to form right up here. So they'll form these bright colored kind of reddish seeds. You'll typically see them late in the summer. Uh, and they produce so many of them that it's really easy for them to just outcompete all of our native vegetation. Another way they're able to outcompete is by root suckering. So that's when they send up new growth from their roots. So one tree of heaven can quickly become many, many, many tree of heavens. And one other reason is that they're allelopathic. So an allelopathic tree means that it produces chemicals in its roots that makes it pretty much impossible for other plants to grow near it. It produces these toxic chemicals. And it's so successful that scientists have actually been studying that chemical and seeing if they can find a way to use it as a natural herbicide. So it's pretty neat, but it does make it really hard for some of our other native plants to grow near it successfully. When we're talking about Tree of Heaven, it's really important to know how to ID it. So one of the first things we look for is the bark. Tree of Heaven normally has a grayish bark and it has a little bit of a texture to it. I've heard it described as like a paper towel kind of texture or the bark of a cantaloupe. So that's one good way to ID it. Another good way is that you wanna look for these pinnately compound leaflets. So this whole thing right here is one leaf and you'll see that it's pinnately compound, meaning that it branches off through here. We do have some native trees that have pinnately compound leaflets, such as our sumac or our black walnut. But one good way to tell the difference is that our tree of heaven has these little glandular thumbs down here. It kind of looks like the thumb of your hand sticking out. So if you see a little gland down at the bottom there, you most likely have tree of heaven. Tree of heaven also has straight margins, whereas our black walnut will have serrate, just like a knife edge. Probably one of the best ways to identify tree of heaven is actually by its smell. So if you have a tree that you think might be tree of heaven, just take a leaf and crumble it up a little bit and take a nice whiff. Uh, if you don't love what you smell, it's probably tree of heaven. Tree of heaven does not smell very nice. I've heard the smell referred to as uh, kind of smelling like rancid peanut butter. So it's not a great smell, but it is very distinct and a very good way to easily identify it and differentiate it from other species that look a little bit like it. Another reason to get rid of your tree of heaven is because it's the preferred host plant for the spotted lanternfly, an invasive insect that was first found in Virginia in 2018 and has been spreading rapidly since then. We're concerned about the impacts that it has on our forests and our agriculture. So if you see one, squish it. And if you have a tree of heaven on your property, this is another great reason to get rid of it. As far as management goes, Tree of Heaven really is a species that you need to use an herbicide on to effectively get rid of it. And that's because it has those really, really intense root systems. So much energy is stored underground that Tree of Heaven is ready when you come to try and take it out. So if you cut it down, it's going to send up a bunch more little baby Tree of Heavens. Every time you cut it down, you're gonna get more coming up. And so because of that, you really do need to use an herbicide to effectively get rid of this tree. If you have a tree of heaven on your property that you would like to chemically treat, make sure you check out our tutorial video on chemical treatment of invasives. You can find that linked below or on our YouTube channel.